Patrick, we've got to start acting like men. SpongeBob. I'll be right back. SpongeBob, wait! Make mine chocolate. I'll have two chocolate banana splits with sprinkled fairy stars and goober beans. With extra sauce, please. Uh, you can let go now. I said let go, please. Uh, uh, what kind of old lady are you? I'll save you, SpongeBob! was vanquished by an even more hideous creature coming from the deep ocean trench. Well, we lost our car again. Never mind the car. Where's the road? There's the road on the other side of the deep, dark, dangerous, monster-infested trench. <laughs> After gulping, SpongeBob and Patrick decided to throw in the towel. Luckily, Mindy arrived and showed them what was really going on back in Bikini Bottom. Plankton had transformed Bikini Bottom into Planktopolis. The sight of their city convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. But someone was hot on their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea, and our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous trench. Dennis, I was hired to kill you. Look, buddy, I hate to burst your bubble, but you're talking to two men here. We don't have time for these silly games, so if you could just step aside. <laughs> oh, help me, Patrick! Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you!
you right where I want you. That's a big boot! Don't worry! This'll only hurt a lot! <laughs> I love this job! Bigger boot! Wait, Beth! This bigger boot saved our lives! Yay! Thank, Thank you, you stranger. stranger! It's the Cyclops! Run! And so, SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the clutches of the mad, murderous Dennis. Only to be captured by the even more hideous Cyclops. And then, they passed out. Awakening in a dreamy, goofy goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goofy goober. Patrick, there's the goofy goober himself. Oh boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on, allowing nothing to distract them. Goofy goofy goober goober goober. Yeah. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Uh, go ahead. When SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy goober, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkler system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops.
so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. Hooray! So, uh, where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come! Huh? Unidentified object off the hind quarters! Bigger boot? But how? Did you miss me? Ah! Oh, Dennis! Dennis! Oh, really fast. Many adventures, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. Where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets, there is now Planktopolis, a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind-controlling buckets. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and a pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. <laughs> Krusty Krab too. He's all set to fry crabs and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> we'll just see about that. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a show to catch. Plan C, I love you. You won't get away with this, Clinton! Victory! Fry crabs! Time for 
for you to die. <laughs> Not so fast, Plankton. I brought back King Neptune's crown, and I'm here to save Mr. Krabs. Nice work, SpongeBob. You made it all the way to Shell City and back. That's a heroic feat. Too bad it won't help. All hail, Plankton. Hey, King Neptune already has a crown. That's no crown, Patrick. It's one of Plankton's bucket hats. Plankton is controlling King Neptune. That's right. And now I'll have the pleasure of removing you along with your friends. Neptune, I command you to kill SpongeBob. Kill SpongeBob. All hail, Plankton. Dodge, SpongeBob, dodge!
that, idiot? Uh, no, no. Uh, idiot. <laughs> uh, French for a uh, handsome man. <coughs> Eugene Krabs, it looks like you were innocent the whole time. Oh, well, that's why pencils have erased. And now to thank the brave heroes who recovered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Patrick, you have performed a manly deed. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mindy. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. A knucklehead McSpazitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm a kid, and I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And so ends the most heroic tale ever told in Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. <laughs>